Hello everyone, welcome back to LACRP, ladies and gentlemen. I'm back here, I got some business to take care of real quick. I took the van that Marcus gave me, I drove back and whatnot and everything. I was getting some gas and I was getting ready to get things set up and whatnot, you know. And literally, look, I was getting gas, man. Someone got point block shot, period, right in the face, right in front of me. And he was talking crap about my van anyway, so, I mean... But the other guy that he arrested him, and then, like, well, didn't arrest him, shot him. I sped off, got pulled over, and then almost got arrested. And I just got back at dawn, they told him, and whatnot. Like, I've been gone for a while, you know, type deal. It, it's crazy, man. And then, but yeah, I saw someone get killed, but uh, yeah, so I'm back in town. I got some good news from Marcus because uh, Marcus had told me, uh, Something happened with the government out here and the files and the systems and I got a clean record back out here in LAC again. So I, I'm no longer wanted. And everything that was done in the past is done in the past. There's nothing they could do that though, basically. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. So we're back here in LAC. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna get me a beer. A few moments later. Alright, so I went in there, had a few drinks and everything. I got to talking to Sandra again, and I apologized and everything, and she understood, and she had to do what she had to do, and it is what it is, but yeah, clean records, as even Sandra said, she's got a clean record too. I guess she had some things on her record that uh, she was able to talk about now. It was, yeah. Not, 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 not a good situation, but yeah. But now we're gonna uh, go and uh, we're gonna get strapped up, ladies and gentlemen. Because I left, but even though I left, ladies and gentlemen, I know for a guaranteed, I know for a guaranteed fact that none other than well, you know, she she probably fooled me out here. Try snitching on me too. And that didn't work. It did not work. Guy honk at me. He's making a turn, man. But yeah, I gotta make a few stops and errands and then I gotta go pick up some, some heavy metal. And I hope she did follow me. I really do hope she did. She's got something coming to her. She really does. I'm so I'm sorry for my son. I'm really sorry, but like I'm getting strapped up not only for my safety but for Dickie's safety because we are now in the long haul. I talked to Marcus. It's got to be done. So let's go in and talk to them. inside and we're gonna go talk to some of our old guys that we know up here and whatnot and then I gotta go make another step to go get strapped up and sorry Mona sorry Mickey can't have snitches I can't go to jail man I can't go to jail yo Jameson Jameson what's up man Long time no see, man. Long time no see. Where's Bradley at? Oh, Bradley's at the the trailer. Oh, I'll see him next. Oh, Bradley, he, he, he's with his friend Jamal. Brad, oh, okay. Or they might not be there, you don't know. Oh, I, I haven't seen him in a while. I mean, I've been in, in a... I've been in Wisconsin because the things have been a little tricky because, you know, uh, I did some things, yeah. Marcus told you, yeah, 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 but yeah, I'm back, uh, apparently everyone, yeah, we all got clean records now, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's funny, right? It, it, it's, it, but it's cool, because I can come back and all my records are gone, I'm, I'm a clean, I could become a cop of the one, 
I'm not going to become a god, but I, beco I can become a god if I want to, man. <laughs> but yeah, no. <laughs> so, what you got in store, man? Uh, okay, let's see. I don't get that much money because, I, I mean, I'm a little broke. I mean, I, I know Dickie's got most of the money. He's still in other words, Kansas, man. But, yeah, did the markets tell you what we're going to be doing pretty soon? Yeah. G g give me a bag of, g give me a bag of the, yeah, give me the XTC, man. Yeah, just one bag. On the house? Oh, thanks, man. Uh, yeah. Here, let me, let me, let me just. Uh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. I'm gonna be feeling that one, man. Oh, oh, oh. but yeah, yeah, man. Like Mona and, and my son, like they messed up, Mona. Yeah, she threw me off a bridge, man. And then, and then Mickey, he's been snitching, and then Mona snitched. So, but, but the funny thing is, me, Dicky sold her car. And then, like, we happened to sell, like, some other guy's car and some and, and another guy's car. Like, it was coincidence. I was just waiting at this guy's house. Because, like, I knew these guys from the biker club that they sold drugs there. And they knew me. But, I mean, I wasn't there to buy drugs. Because, like, Dickie took the drugs. Yeah, Marky sold you, like, the glass and whatnot. Yeah. It was terrible, man. It was, like, really, really terrible. But, yeah, man. Like, he was joking. I, I gave him CPR. Saved his life, man. But, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, but like, yeah, they, they snitched and we can't have that because like, they were trying to say that we killed people at the Yellow Jack, allegedly, but I mean, the records are going now, so I mean, technically we did, but I mean, yeah, but allegedly, you know, type deal, but yeah, and then Mickey was snitching, and then, you know, him around here, he, he was, uh, he was fucking around and finding out, and then he got beat up by the loss, man, and then if he, if he would have kept on doing it, they would have killed him, but now, sadly, me and Marcus Stockton and a bunch of the other like good people out here that were helping sell drugs for me and Dickie and um, they said that we got they, they got to die and if we don't do it they're doing it and I I rather do it I want to I want to kill that bitch she do me up a fucking bridge man and she's gonna die so yeah but hey thanks for, thanks for the XCC man uh, and uh, I'm gonna go there uh, you, you think he might be there Bradley and whatnot yeah well, I see all right later man. All right, and now, now we're gonna go back to my van, and we're gonna go drive and pick up some, you know, uh, pick up some weapons and whatnot, man. Oh yeah, I forget. Oh wait, yeah, the door's this way, man. It's been a while since I've been here, man. I've been in Washington for a while, man. It feels good to be out here with a clean record, man. I don't feel scared driving in this car anymore. I was told that a guy named Dipty Bites, I guess, dude, like, he's not allowed to come back. They fired him from the force out here. He was a cool guy. I mean, I know he's in Washington. And technically, that's where I'm living right now. But I'm back out here for the time being. And I know Mona's probably follow followed me here. She's probably, she's probably trying to set something up, throw me off a higher bridge to try to kill me or something. I mean, if she would have not mess around to find out type deal, I would probably not, like, have any problems with her, man. But, I mean, she likes to mess around to find out type deal. And you just can't have that, man. Now she's gonna realize that she should have never did what she did. And that's gonna be her fault. Indeed, it is, man. And Mickey's gonna realize too. You should not mess around to find out, man. Watch it, man. Jeez. Let me see my van, man. I know it's a little rusty. I mean, it's not as rusty as Dickie's. I mean, they, 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 his caught on fire, man. This one hasn't caught on fire. I mean, this one just got rusty for sitting in Pound a lot. But 
but I'm gonna go over here and get my guns and whatnot, strap up and get things ready, you know. I know, I know she was following me because I know, like, me and her had an argument before I left Washington and whatnot, when I was back at the trailer, where we were living at and whatnot. Basically, it came to the point where, like, I got my car, and I know I saw her getting her car. I thought I lost her, but I know she probably found me, and she was staying, like, car me maybe. But it's all good. She doesn't know exactly where I'm at now. Because she doesn't know all my LAC spots. What's up, Bradley and Jamal? How's it going, man? I'll have my secretary send it over. Yes. Okay, goodbye. Asshole. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're probably assholes. I know, right? Yep, exactly, man. A bunch of assholes. You know what I want, man? I hear you. I want the shotgun, man. Tell me about it. I want some shotgun ammo, man. Give me 25 bullets, man. Okay, give me 50. Alright, I'm gonna put 20 in the car, man. Appreciate it, guys. She messed up, man. She really messed up. She should have realized what she really did. Let's drive away. Let's go park up. Yeah, right here. Twenty-five of the bullets in the back. That way, I know I have twenty-five bullets. A few moments later. All right. We gotta get out of here, man. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am gonna go. On my way, go find a place to go talk to Marcus. And we're gonna get ready. I'm gonna find you, Mona. I'm gonna find you, Mona Flowers, or I should say Mona Cheese. And we're gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. I'm tired of you. And then, Mickey, you're gonna die. None other than. Dickie's gonna find you, man. Marcus told us we gotta do this. But we're gonna get you. And it's gonna happen really soon. A few moments later. Uh, I, gotta get hit to, I gotta get hit to the police station. I gotta talk to some cops, man. I think my dad might have came here or whatnot. I gotta talk to them, man. I think there's a cap out there.
How's it going? It's going good. Uh, I want to report a 911 call, man. What's going on? So, me, my mom, and my dad, which my dad is Mickey Sticky Flowers, we went on a vacation to a Wisconsin man for a while. And then they got into a fight. She threw him off a bridge and whatnot. Oh. Then uh, they jumped my mom and me when I was in the car to her, stole her car. And apparently, from what I heard, she said that Mickey, my dad, and Dickie Cheese is going to, oh. <laughs> is going to kill another than me and my mom. All right. I, I, I want to put bullets up for them. I want you guys to catch them. All right. Let me see if I can get an officer for you. All righty, man. <laughs> I want to make sure if they're out here in Italy, man, they're, they're, they're going to get caught, man. I have an officer for you. Hold on. There it is. coming around. Hello. Can I help you, sir? Yeah, I want to report a 911 call. Uh, me and my family, we went on a vacation to Wisconsin, and then my father and my mom, uh, my father's Mickey Sticky Flowers, and then my mom is Mona Flowers. They got into a fight, well, then she threw them off a bridge. Then they jumped my mom like weeks later, stole her car, and I was with her. I took her to a hospital. Uh, we made a 911 report in Wisconsin, but now I think I, from what I heard, from what she told me, is that my uh, uncle... In where? Hold on, sorry for interrupting. In where? Wisconsin? Yeah, Wisconsin. We went up there for like a week or two for uh, um, for like a vacation. And why didn't you report this wall in Wisconsin? I did, but I want to report it out here because uh, my mom said that she heard that Dickie was coming out here and they want to kill her, and they were judge. coming out here to get strapped up with some guns. So, for the judge. what are you reporting exactly? They're they're trying to kill my mom and me. That's why they're coming okay. out here because they know a bunch of dealers that can get them guns, and they're out here trying to kill us. But my mom was dumb and followed her, and I was dumb and followed my mom because I want to come get you guys because I want to stop all this. Okay, what is your name, sir? My name is uh, Mickey. Uh, Flowers Jr., but I'm not in the system because I just moved back out of town, so... Uh, I, I thought you were in the system. Yeah. I might be. I don't know. I mean, I used to be. But I know we moved, and I was in school in Wisconsin for a while. So... Where, where is your mother? My mother, well, when she was at the trailer, she said that she saw my father get in his car talking about coming out here to get strapped up with guns with some dealers he knows. And then she he was going to come back and kill us, but she followed him, and I think he knows he followed her. And then I was dumb and followed my mom because I want to come get you guys involved because I want to stop all this. I don't want no one to die. Okay. So what is... Your father's name? Uh, Mickey uh, Flowers. Mickey Mickey Flowers. Okay. Yeah, I'm Mickey yeah, Junior. Oh, okay. What's your mom's name? Uh, Mona Flowers. Okay. But I but, uh, but I know Mickey and then Dickie Cheese, which is C H E E Z. I believe they're both in the system out here still. Okay. So where is your father located? Well, I mean, uh, he lives in a van normally, but, I mean, I don't know where he would be out here right now, to be honest with you. Okay, man. So, basically, all I would be able to grant you with, or I could have an officer check it out. I can't do much about it. Uh, it's a he said, she said kind of situation. Um, clearly, nothing happened due to the fact that Wisconsin police officers didn't do anything. Well, they uh, couldn't find him. That's the reason why they didn't do anything. Okay. They were looking for him. So, did he commit a crime in Wisconsin? No, oh, yeah. He beat up my mom, and, okay, and he, he stole our car, and then apparently he stole other cars in the process. So, I do not believe, and I could be wrong, uh, that those kind of warrants transfer over to states. Yeah, but he said he wants to kill us, and my mom followed him, and okay. I followed her, and now we're out here, and he wants to kill us, man. I'm like, getting, like I'm I said... 
I, I completely understand. Like I said, I can send an officer uh, out to the location, check it out, ask him a couple questions. Uh, then we could talk to your mom as well. Give me one second. Alrighty. Hopefully they could do something, man. I just, I just want to warn them what's about to be going down, man. I'm getting kind of scared, man. I'm getting nervous. Okay, sir. So, like I said, I can send an officer out uh, if you give me a location of where your father's at. My my father usually hangs out around the liquor ace. Ace looking. Okay. If he's not there, then you can find him at the Yellow Jack. Oh, okay. Well, what I would also suggest is you guys uh, file for restraining orders. Yeah, I, de I definitely want to do that. I want, I want to make sure he comes nowhere near me and my mom. I don't want to die, man. I completely understand. Uh, so I'd come back during business hours when the judge is in and we can follow up restraining order. All right, sounds good. I'll come back here with my mom. Yep, please do. Yep, for sure. If you, if you have any issues, man, uh, you can make a 911 call as always, and we're always here to respond and help you out. All right, I just want to let you know, I live at, like, the trailer at the end of this, like, Sandy over here. So, okay. like, if you, you'll, you'll see my bug. I got a white uh, white and black bug. I'll park it there. So, like, okay. if cops drive around, if something happens, you'll know, like, I, I'm at that place. Okay, okay. Yeah, I appreciate it. I just want to warn you guys because something's about to happen properly. All right. Well, appreciate you coming in. Uh, if you have any issues, let us know. All righty. Have a good one, man. It's playing. Yeah. At least I went and snitched. I don't want my mom to die, man. I don't want to die either, man. It's scary, man. I'm gonna go home, man. This is our old house that we had. It, well, it, well, it was it was the house that we moved to towards the end when we got evicted from the one house because of my dad. But it's basically similar to our house. It's trashy. He trashed this one up because he doesn't care about us, man. And I cared about him for the longest, and I'm listening to my mom now. And he wants to kill us, so yeah, I'm scared, man. I'm really scared, man. I'm just gonna lock myself in here. Hey, what well, my mom, man? I'm gonna try calling her again. I'm gonna try calling her again, man. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. It is Mickey Sticky Flowers Jr. Plus, with my part, is Mickey Sticky Flowers Sr. Did some coming back here to LACRP. I'm not sure if I'm going to stay on this server, but I wanted to come back due to the fact that some RP needed to be finished here. And I went and got some guns from people that Mickey knew and Dickie knew, because obviously they sold drugs and all this and that here inside LAC for many, 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 many years and whatnot to come as they were doing things here since Ventura and both of the times in the LAC server. And now this is. No, all three times in that, because I think it was three different servers, and this is the version four or so. I mean, so, Mona, uh, out of RP, followed Mickey, as Mickey said he was going to strap up, and she heard word that Mickey and Dickie were going to kill none other than Mickey Jr., and other than uh, Mona Flowers, uh, Mickey's wife, and then Mickey Jr., uh, Mickey's son. So, Mickey's going to kill Mona, and then Dickie is going to kill Mickey Jr. And that's all going to take place in part three as part two takes place as they come back to LAC here for some RP as none other than Mickey Sr. came out here to get the guns. Mona followed him. 
because she knew, she heard, and she saw his van leaving. She followed it and somehow came out here. Mickey Jr. saw and heard what his mom was doing. She, he had followed her, and then she had followed him. So it was a chain of following. He came down here to try to another than help and show the cops that hey, something's about to happen. Something is about to happen, and they don't believe it. They do not believe it whatsoever. So I mean, it's a he said, she said situation. The cops said. So we're gonna see and find out what happens in part three because. These characters are going goodbye. And it sucks. Not really. Because this is what the RP that I came up with myself. And I want to be done. They're going to be gone. But how's it going to happen? I don't know. Are, is Mickey and Dickie going to get cut? I don't know. We're going to find out in part 3. As the Mickey and Dickie wild ride continues. None other than from Washington State RP. Back into LAC RP and maybe eventually back into Washington State roleplay. But, I mean, not Washington, Wisconsin State roleplay. Back here to LAC roleplay. Back to Wisconsin roleplay, maybe again. I don't know. Or maybe we'll stick in this server. We'll find out. But I'm loving both servers, to be honest with you. They all have their separate perks and whatnot. But we'll find out what happens in part three, ladies and gentlemen. So, yeah. I had a little fun video recording this, and it wasn't in Wisconsin State. It was in LAC, Los Angeles County. But I had fun of both. But we'll find out what happens on part three, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching.